virtual lab for flow through porous media part 1 developed by a group of IIT Guwahati faculties and students from the department of chemical engineering the first step is to log on to vlab.co.in the second step is to click the link IIT Guwahati on the extreme left of the chart the third step is to click the link for virtual lab for mass transfer and then the link for flow through porous media part 1 this takes us directly to the online portal on the online portal the first tab is the theory tab which gives a general background of the experiment the second tab is the procedure tab which gives a detailed explanation of the experimental procedure carried out it as well gives the experimental setup for permission cell, the membrane holder and the compressor. Not only this, it also consists of the animation of the, of the entire permission cell setup which consists of a membrane pressure gauge rotameter. Further, it consists of a snapshot which dictates the process, entire procedure in steps starting from experimental input to pressure bar calculations and the experimental output as flow rates. Further, it also works towards membrane fill properties where the input is pressure and the output is the flow rate. It ultimately an ends up by, calculating, by calculating the porosity and the permeability factor K. next tab we have the experimental calculation tab uh, where uh, one set of detailed explanation is shown starting from inlet pressure outlet pressure to the gauge pressure difference viscosity ceramic membrane diameter thickness rotameter factor starting from pressure till the permeability calculations have been described in details and finally the average pore size calculations and effective por porosity calculations has been discussed The next tab is the lab view calculation tab which gives us snapshots of the virtual experiment. In the first step the input is the flow rate and the permeability factor. In the second step the virtual outputs of step 1 the user has to calculate the slope intercept pore radius and porosity using the suitable formulas. In the third step there is a comparison between the user's data and the virtual data generated by the software. Finally, there is a concluding step which gives the marks, which gives the user the marks based on his performance. The next step is the pre-experimental quiz tab. In this tab, the user has different multiple choice questions. All the user has to do is, based on his knowledge, he has to select the particular answer and then press the submit button. On pressing the submit button, the software will enable the user as to whether his answer was right or wrong. The next is the video tab which consists of both real world and the virtual world experimental videos. This videos will enable the user with detailed background of both the experimental and the virtual world platforms. The lab view video is similar to the video as we can see in the simulator tab. Next we have the downloads tab where the user has to download the runtime engine based on what operating system he or she is using. Next we have the simulator tab where the user has two options either to run it offline or online. Next we have the post experimental quiz tab which is similar to the pre experimental quiz as discussed earlier. Next we have a general help tab in which this user gets some simple helps as to how to run the simulator and finally we have the feedback tab which enables the user to share his or her, her experience both good and bad with the developer all the user has to do is answer the questions and press the submit button at the end of the page
user has to go to the simulator click the exe file here comes the real world experiment and this is the experimental setup showing the inlet for the air and the pressure gauge this is the valve this is the compressor through which air passes this is the membrane holder we place the membrane in the holder and seal it then we enclose the setup as shown air at different pressure from the compressor is passed to the inlet this air passes through the membrane and this is the input for the air and this is the output to the membrane air this is connected to the rotor meter which gives us a flow rate now we open the valve of the compressor air at different pressure passes through the membrane and we can see measure the flow rates at the rotor meter as seen now next we have the virtual experiment